Now in Providence, the city's parking ban will remain in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Now the mayor held a news conference earlier today asking residents for their help. Once the snow has stopped falling, we've asked for your help in staying off the roads and I appreciate that help. And now I'm asking you to shovel all of your sidewalks, whether it's residential or whether it's commercial. And please shovel your sidewalks by the end of the day on Wednesday. Iowa News News reporter Jared Pliner is there now live in the capital city. Hey there, Mike and Shannon, once again. I still haven't gotten off of March the 20th. Kelly Sullivan, are you kidding me? All right, we haven't done this in a few hours, but let's zoom in on 95. This is would fall into a category of major artery. That is a phrase that Mayor Jorge Alorza has been using. Of course, this is DOT plowing territory. And I hate to tell you this because we are shy of the 8 o'clock cutoff. We are seeing more vehicles on the road, but as the governor has stated, and I want to reiterate that the danger has not passed with that. Let's go to video. This video of the snow removal that continues at this hour, trying to keep sidewalks clear in anticipation of retail reopening Providence Place Mall. One of the areas where that work is taking place also for the safety of passers by and Daryl Miles has been part of the Providence Place effort. Take a listen. What are we doing now? We just doing entrances. It's making these steps nice and because people still gonna come out regardless. Sure. They don't care about blizzards and all that, so they're still gonna come out. So we try to keep the steps and all the entrances clear for that, and um, make path walking paths. You know, so we've been at it all night since uh, since it started last night. And what Daryl said, and I think so many personnel involved in this effort would echo: teamwork, nothing beats it makes everything go better. Isn't that what our parents and coaches told us? Well, they're going to continue to utilize that teamwork as we get into tomorrow. This effort is going to continue through the overnight hours. It's still a critical time for them. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.